Yeah, hi and big namaste guys. This is Santosh Kumar and well in this new medical blog I am along with Dr. Rubina Subal. Uh, she is a head and neck uh, cancer specialist based here in Binay Tara Foundation uh, Cancer Foundation Center in Janapur. And uh, well in this uh, new medical blog we're going to talk about the cancer diseases, especially head and neck cancer diseases, uh, their treatment, uh, symptoms as well as her advice. Uh, what one should do to prevent this sort of illness. Dr. Subal, a very good morning. Uh, how are you doing today? Hello, Mr. Santos. I'm doing well, thank you. Well, uh, please tell us something about yourself. Okay, I'm Dr. Rubina Suwal and I'm a head and consultant here at the Department of Head and Neck Surgical Oncology and uh -huh. Benetara Foundation Cancer Center. Uh -huh. And I've been practicing here for almost a year now. Uh -huh. And. Uh, Anything else? Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, uh, please tell us something more. Like, uh, uh, have you done some sort of uh, like uh, training? Yes, yes. You want to know about my medical academic career? Yeah. Okay. I'm I basically i my background is an oral and maxillofacial surgery uh -huh. uh, with the specialized expertise and uh, head and neck oncology, which is a head and neck cancer surgery. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been. Uh, I've been practicing here for mm -hmm. a year now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, please tell some. Please tell us something about the Binetara Foundation. Okay, Binetara Foundation Cancer Center is a non-profit organization so, which has been established in 2080 for the, with the aim of providing access of cancer care mm -hmm. to the rural communities and the people of Madesh province. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially, this is a basically a tertiary center which provides cancer care mm -hmm. to the local community. Mm -hmm. And uh, what sort of treatment and facilities you provide out here? Okay, now basically the cancer treatments requires a specialized you know, infrastructures and specialized doctors mm -hmm. uh, for the treatment of the cancer. Uh -huh. uh, so uh, usually I can say it requires a multi-mortality treatment. Okay? Uh -huh. uh, so um, the, all the facilities for providing the treat, can, treatment of the cancer uh -huh. uh, is planned to be set here. Mm -hmm. so uh -huh. and and since uh, last year, we have started the head and neck cancer treatment program in mm -hmm. this hospital, mm -hmm. and uh, this services has been available since then. Uh, uh, let's focus on oral cancer. Like, uh, what are the main causes? Like, uh, if we talk about, like, uh, we know in this region, this part of the uh, world, uh, the people they consume a lot of tobacco. I know that that's the ma major, uh, like, a uh, cause behind this sort of disease. But still, there are any other factors that uh, create uh, or that uh, causes uh, oral cancer? Uh, yes, uh, oral cancer is the most prevalent uh, cancer of head and neck part in this province or in this region. I've seen for almost 90% of the cases I see here is oral cancer and it's prevalent particularly because of the high consumption of tobacco uh -huh. and tobacco related products uh -huh. in this community. Uh -huh. uh, uh, the, uh, the higher prevalence of oral cancers is due to the habit of chewing tobacco, I say, because, which is uh, to chewing tobacco in various forms like gutka, pan masala, mm -hmm. and uh, usually people uh, tend to keep it mm -hmm. in this uh, part, in one part of the oral cavity, which is called gingiva mm -hmm. buccal complex. Mm -hmm. So that, that I found this is a major reason okay, uh -huh. for. Uh, Tobacco consumption, particularly in the chewing form, is one of the mm -hmm. major reasons for mm -hmm. the ca cancer of oral cavity. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, let's talk about some surgical uh, operation you perform out here. Yes, because I'm a surgeon, my expertise in, is in surgery. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I perform surgeries, and uh, as I said, like we have started the treatment program since last year. So, and we have all the facilities of mm -hmm. uh, theater mm -hmm. and. Uh, in ICU and a like post op. Mm -hmm. So I performed the surgeries of the uh, cancer. I've, mm -hmm. I've been performing surgeries of oral cancer here mm -hmm. and giving the treatment to uh, the people here. There is another medical term which is called maxillofacial surgeon. Uh, what is that actually? It is stand for? 
Okay, now it's a it's a it's a speciality. Uh -huh. uh, it's a, it's one of the specialized uh, training and the oral and maxillofacial means like um, it's a part of the oral and jaw reasons. Okay, it's, it includes face, uh -huh. uh, jaws, mm -hmm. oral cavities, mm -hmm. and uh, we uh, are the surgeons who treat the diseases of these reasons. Not just the cancer. There are many other specialties like. Mm -hmm. Uh, clefts, orthognathic surgeries, okay, which related, which and uh, which treats the diseases and the deformities of these reasons, mm. okay, the, the craniofacial reason. Mm -hmm. so oh. it's, a, it's a very uh, recognized and uh, flourished uh, speciality in uh, South Asian continent, and even in UK, I've recently been there, mm -hmm. and it's a very uh, specialized branch, uh, mm -hmm. which uh, I think most of the people are quite not aware of. And uh, let's talk about the symptoms, uh, like uh, how someone can determine that uh, he or she is facing some sort of oral cancer diseases. All right. Uh, yeah, it's a very important question you've asked, and there are some of the red flag symptoms of mm. it. Treat, uh, de detecting the oral cancers. Okay, mm -hmm. basically, uh, the, the, it usually starts with an ulcer and the non-healing ulcers. It's a non-healing ulcer which it lasts more than three weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, then I suggest you uh, you consult a doctor. Mm -hmm. Okay, usually uh, the first point of contact for the any ulcer or diseases in a small uh, stage is the primary physicians or the dentist. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we usually come last in the picture. Mm -hmm. So uh, I uh, give suggestion uh, or I ask them and the people who are everybody who's seeing this, the public, that identify those red flag symptoms, which is the, the patient persists uh, non healing some ulcer for more than three weeks. Mm -hmm. Okay, and there is a bleeding or discharge related with that ulcer. Mm -hmm. And there is an old pain in the oral cavity or any sort of dental pain which usually mm -hmm. gets referred till the air mm -hmm. okay and if, if the patients have a restricted mouth opening the patient starts developing a limited mouth opening mm -hmm. and uh, there is a, a loosening of the teeth okay without any reasons there are loosening of the teeth or if the patient have denture there is ill-fitting dentures mm -hmm. and uh, these are some of the red flag signs and in particularly cancers of the tongue there will be difficulty in eating swallowing and even movement of the tongue okay uh, those those are some of the cancers and with that there will be drooling of the saliva mm -hmm. uh, in advanced cases if the uh, the tumor or the ulcer starts um, getting bigger mm -hmm. okay in advanced cases there will be a numbness you will feel numbness or paresthesia uh -huh. in this lip and the cheek reasons uh -huh. And uh, also, as the disease progresses, uh, then you can find a lump in the neck. Mm -hmm. okay? And it's, it's a lump in the neck is also regarded as one of the most prognostic factor. Mm -hmm. So these are the warning signs that you should be aware of. And if you or any of your primary physicians um, sees any of these symptoms, mm -hmm. then you should definitely consult an oncologist or a cancer specialist. Well, uh, let's talk something more about Binetara Foundation again. Okay. Uh, what sort of like a uh, major surgery you perform out here mm -hmm. uh, at a Binetara Foundation Cancer Center? Um, as I said, uh, like oral cancer is most prevalent in this community, and I have uh, been operating for the cancer surgeries of the oral cavity. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, I'll briefly discuss you a few. The oral cancer uh, cavity also have many subsites. Okay, uh -huh. head and neck cancer has different sites and oral cancer also have different subsites uh -huh. okay, like I said tongue and buccal mucosa which is just this inside of this cheek mm -hmm. and uh, floor of the mouth which is located beneath the tongue hard palate which is above the tongue mm -hmm. okay this posterior aspect of the buccal mucosa which is retromolar trigon and lip is okay so different this uh, the tumors are located in this particular subsite and we do perform when performing the surgeries uh, this names if you want to know the names of the surgeries mm -hmm. it's uh, particularly dedicated to the that areas okay uh -huh. for, like for the tongue we called it uh, glossectomy mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. and uh, like uh, buccal mucosa so buccal mucosa is like cheek reason so mm -hmm. it involves or usually involves you know alveolus which is the bone just adjacent to it okay uh -huh. so we have to perform mandibulectomy uh, maxillectomy okay mm -hmm. it's like uh, we have to resect it 
mm. because uh, the cancer is a morbid disease mm. and it involves resections of the area which has been involved mm. so yes the, the, the uh, normal surgeries it's called the uh, it's called white local exigence okay white local exigence of any part mm. the disease is involved it's either glossectomy or uh, uh, segmental mandibulectomy or ma maxillectomy mm -hmm. these are the common surgeries okay mm -hmm. and uh, uh, and the surgeries also involve neck dissections the surgeries of the head and neck usually involve uh, three parts three uh, parts which is the primary resection that mm -hmm. is the wide local excision the second is a neck dissection because mm -hmm. the uh, it's, uh, it might be too far but uh, yes the, ca the cancer is just not located in a particular subsite it has also got uh, affinity to progress to the regional lymph nodes okay mm. so you have to dissect uh, perform surgery in the neck as well if you have a cancer of the oral cavity and usually the defect usually you have a defect that has to be reconstructed so it has three parts like primary resection neck dissection and reconstruction and uh, let's uh, well we are almost uh, like by the end of this vlog Let's talk about the suggestion, your advice, what one should do to prevent the disorder of illness, in short. Yes, the major, I say, as I've already said, the majority of this uh, cause, the major cause of this disease is tobacco. 75% of the disease is caused by tobacco. Yes, there are other causes like HPV viruses, which is particularly related to oropharyngeal cancers. but. Uh, yes, uh, tobacco is the major cause and alcohol as well, okay? Tobacco mm -hmm. and alcohol together uh, 